And we haven't seen much water falling from the skies lately. Not lately, beginning to dry out. But that, that we did see early this summer has the ground so moist that our humidity levels are really pretty high right yeah, now. They are. It kept our low temperature this morning at 80 degrees, believe it or not. That's hot. Well, we all know what the weather's going to do, but I bet you don't know the bird forecast for the month. Don't. I've got it for you right here. Uh, here is KXAN.com, and under the weather blogs menu or the weather tab, look for the weather blog today. Our July bird forecast, courtesy of Travis Audubon, is the northern mockingbird. Travis Audubon tells us also to be on the lookout for the purple martins and the European starlings. The martins will be taking off here pretty soon, headed uh, east to Louisiana. Let's hope they stay out of the oil, and then south to South America taking off at the end of the month. Well, here in Austin today, even the birds probably seeking refuge from the intense heat and humidity this afternoon. While the thermometer, you know, doesn't look that bad, 94, for example, right now in the shade, the humidity, again, is unusually high for mid-July, and so it feels like 105 outside in the shade right now. Our 8 p.m. planning forecast temperature, 90 degrees at 10 o'clock tonight. We're down into the uh, middle 80s, maybe. Uh, 97 degrees in Atlanta right Right now, the hot spot here in Central Texas, 93 in Burnett, 93 in Georgetown. It's 92 down here in LaGrange. Again, these are thermometer readings. Now let's factor in the humidity. And these are the current heat index temperatures. 107. That's how hot it feels right now in Lano. Last hour at 4 o'clock, our heat index in Austin at Camp Mabry was 107 degrees. That's the highest I've seen it uh, this summer. Feels like 105 right now down in San Marcos. It feels like 106. Same over in LaGrange. Well, it's mostly sunny and again, 94 degrees officially. 94 also out at ABIA with mostly sunny sky. Skies there, your high dew points. That's why it's so muggy out there. Winds south-southwesterly at 9 in town. At least there is a breeze at the airport the winds are south at 14 miles per hour. And sunset, getting a little bit earlier every day now at 834 tonight. Mold count, well, every day it's headed down. Today it's still in the high category at over 2,800, but it is lower than yesterday, and yesterday was lower than the day before. And as the atmosphere continues to dry out, while we'll still see some high counts for the next couple of days, they gradually will go lower. Around the state, uh, Dallas, DFW there at 96, Houston 93, uh, San Antonio 94, uh, 89 in Lubbock, 98 degrees out in the El Paso area. On the weather map, you can see there's not much happening here in Texas. You can also notice, if you look real carefully, how things seem to be kind of circulating around the state. That's due to a high-pressure ridge that is actually centered up here over north Texas right now. But the dominant influence in our weather, not only today, but for several days to come, we may begin to see a little more action in north Texas and eastern parts of the state, but not in our area, probably till early next week. And the only reason that will happen is because this center of the high-pressure ridge that's uh, over north Texas right now will begin to move back to the west a little bit, and the center of the high will shift up here into the northern plains, and that will allow, you know, maybe a rain shower to sneak in from the coast. Uh, Temperatures, though, not going to change much. Well, let's talk tropics. Told you yesterday there's not much going on. Today, almost nothing going on in the Gulf or the Caribbean or out in the Atlantic, uh, for that matter. It's going to get busy. Uh, we have the hottest temperatures on record out here in the Atlantic right now. The sea temperatures are the warmest we've ever seen. And so I'm afraid when we get into August and September, it's just going to go crazy out there with tropical systems one after another. Let's enjoy this quiet spell. Tonight, uh, mid-upper 70s, in fact, here around the Austin area, a little cooler in the suburbs and in the hill country, and then tomorrow right back up into the mid-90s again. In Austin, some late-night low cloudiness, uh, not much below 80 degrees tonight, 79 in the city. Tomorrow, let's go 96 with more sunshine than clouds, certainly. On the seven-day forecast, uh, maybe even a degree or two warmer as we head into the weekend. Those slim rain chances I told you about as that high shifts away, well, that's not till the early to middle part of next week, and those are typically uh, east of the Austin area between here and the coast.